Hi guys and welcome back to another video with the Omega Enthusiast. On this video, I would like to point out a few Omega case model that I do not recommend people to buy. These are model with similar case design and roughly date to around the same era as well. These are Omega watches that a lot of novice collectors will fall for since they are some of the most affordable Omega watches out there. There are three issues about these watches that make them cheap. The first one is their movement. I am not stating that their movement are no good, but collectible wise, there is a small demand for watches carrying the 1000 series calibers, uh, which includes 1010, 1011, 1012, 1020, 1022, and caliber 1030. The second issue is that many of these case model takes specially made original Omega Square Crystal which are no longer available to purchase from your local supply house. That said, the watch may be cheap to buy, but future repair can be troublesome and can cost a lot of, a lot of money if you need to send it back to Omega for a service. The third issue, which is the biggest issue, if you go through all these examples, they have something in common, and that is the case lug design of these watches. Omega designed these cases to fit their original metal bracelet only. Therefore, if the bracelet is worn or broken, you cannot replace it with a different metal bracelet or leather strap. And since the original bracelet are obsolete, if you cannot find a replacement online or wherever, your wristwatch is now a pocket watch. I apologize if this video has offended some people, but I think it is important for me to teach and inform watch enthusiasts who are new to this hobby and wants to own an Omega watch. If you already own one of these watches, it is not the end of the world, but just make sure to take good care of your watch. That is the end of this video. If you find it useful and enjoy watching it, please support the channel by hitting on that thumbs up button below and subscribe. Your support is what motivates me to continue and produce more of these educational video. If you have any questions, comment or question, please leave them in the comment section below. My website and Instagram links are in the description box below as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.